Hi, my name is Dames and welcome to Frost. As you can see by last time, this mod is absolutely brutal. And if you want to check that video out, I will leave a link down below in the description. But today, I'm going to finally craft some ammo for the guns we find, hopefully, and also get the hell out of these access tunnels. So as you can see, we're not actually in the best shape right now. We are very much radiated. We're thirsty, we're hungry, we're tired. But hey, we're still alive, so that counts for something. But obviously, in the last video then, we did actually manage to finally find some form of guns. We had a pipe submachine gun that we found in the access tunnels. We also managed to find this short, heavily damaged combat shotgun, which honestly, I think is going to be a lifesaver. We go over to the chemistry station right now then. We are so close, so close to being able to get some 38 rounds. That is going to be massive. But unfortunately, we still need to find some lead. So that's going to be priority number one. But one other thing, we are super encumbered right now and we actually cannot move. So what I'm planning on doing, just because we're going to come back here regardless, is put all this junk, store it away in this little container here. Then hopefully we can actually move around and find some more things. But as we know, it is pretty much safe at this point. We've cleared out most of the raiders slash survivors down here. Let's go back to the subway line. Now, one other thing we definitely need to sort out as soon as physically possible is a way to cook some food. And in the last video, we managed to actually find a water filter and we do already have two cans of dirty water. And finally, my guy might actually get something to drink. We go into aid then. Go all the way down to purified water. So we feel better, but we're still super thirsty, but it's better than nothing. But we did manage to find some Blanco and mac and cheese. And we did also manage to find some pork and beans. And we can actually cook them because we've found some wood as well. Now, unfortunately, it does still give us a lot of radiation. But we're just going to have to do it and take the rad damage for now. So we're not as hungry anymore. Also, tragically, in the last video, we absolutely messed up this subway line door. So fingers crossed we can actually get it unlocked this time. As we've actually managed to find two bobby pins. There we go. Finally, we managed to actually unlock this door now. Let's see what's on the other side. Let's sneak up these stairs. Anything to loot in these boxes anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Now, ooh, there's a person found. Doesn't actually look hostile, but we've said that many times before. Um, hello, sir. You, I don't recognize you. Who are you and why are you wearing our uniform? A voice acted as well. Um, I am one of the new recruits from the Commonwealth. I am lost. I need your help, please. Just looking for supplies. Actually, you know what? We have a little bit of charisma. I'm going to try it. I'm lost. I need help. Please. Good. Okay, good. You can use our beds, but don't touch anything else. Then get away from here. Okay, we can use the beds, but don't touch anything else. So it looks like we've actually found some friendly NPCs, finally. Can we still hey talk there. to this guy? Oh, it's you again. Good. Now leave. I'm just looking for some supplies. I'm just looking for supplies. You are in the wrong place. You must get in downtown if you are a trader. Get going. Okay, well, this guy and his gang seem pretty well armed. <laughs> They've got many weapons. So they are being friendly to us, so I appreciate they haven't just killed us on sight. But yeah, at least we know we can always come back here and use a bed if we need to. Well, anyway, he said we need to go downtown. I'm going to travel this way and hopefully we can find something useful. It doesn't actually look like we can... Get up this way? I don't think we're meant to go up here, guys. Even though there's a train cart right in front of us, but... Yeah. Maybe this isn't the way. Okay, so we did just go straight up the stairs. But we do have this door to our left that is also a novice unlock. 
Okay, this one bobby pin is serving me well so far. Fingers crossed we can get this done. Okay. The door is open. That is a beautiful sight that I want to see. Okay, it is open as well. A blood pack. A damage $1 bundle. Okay, interesting. Service tunnel key as well. Nice. I wonder if that can open that other door that we need to get through. We do have some other supplies, the oil can, duct tape, screwdriver, wrench, copperine, wonder glue. We don't necessarily have to carry this all around with us. We can just take it back to base and store it there for the time being. Okay, we are back. I want to call it home, but I really don't know if it is classed as home, but I suppose it's our safe space for the time being. Once again, I'm going to drop off all these things that we don't need to keep with us, like the things that have wood, etc., Unfortunately, still not managed to find any lead anywhere, which is super frustrating because, yeah, I really want some bullets. But now we actually have that key. I wanted to see if we can finally open this door over up to our left. I don't know if it is the right key. Only open for the key. It isn't, unfortunately. It's just another key that I'm going to have to find a use for. Well, I guess we best venture back into the access tunnels this way. Like I said, we pretty much know a lot of it is already safe. But there are some areas we still haven't managed to discover yet. Now, if you remember from the last video, there's very much a huge problem that is beyond this door here. A man with a very big gun. Maybe we finally try and defeat him today. Here, we've been found. Oh no, this is not good. Okay. I don't know where the man with the gun is. Maybe he's moved on. Oh no, this is not good. Two on one is not ideal. Oh god. Well, we're going to have to try that again. At least the guy with the gun isn't there. You know what, we're going to... We're just going to be aggressive. This guy is a combat genius. Luckily, it does look like we can swing a bit faster than him. Oh, no. Maybe not. Shouldn't have said that. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Unfortunately, we have actually lost a arm. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to apply a bandage and also a blood pack so we can slowly but surely recover some health. Now, we do actually have Jim Kennedy's journal here. That's going to be interesting to see. A mask and a cap. We'll take the mask. That could be definitely good protection. Nothing on this survivor here. Now, there is actually a lot of drugs by the looks of it. A dirty ashtray. A gas mask, which is definitely going to be really useful when we eventually go outside. Some more dirty water and jet. I've gone over to the stat screen then. And as you can see, right arm health is literally zero right now. Now, I don't know how we actually recover our right arm. I guess we're going to have to find that out along the way. But yeah, can't imagine it's good. Now, we obviously picked up both those masks. And I'm going to wear the rough gas mask. That gives us a bit more radiation protection. But we're going to have to drop this one so we've got a bit more carry weight. We also did pick up Jim Kennedy's journal. So let's have a read of that. The boys keep saying Federation's gone to shit. It'd be more accurate to say the Federation's gone, period. Between the mutiny attacks and those down in Postal, there's only a handful of stations left to fly the old MF. But life goes on. Here's hoping to a good harvest. Bad news from downtown. Some fancy pants assholes came down here claiming to be quality assurance inspector. Said Marchland himself thought our shrooms were shit. Manland dropped him off before he could get another world. He's going to have quite a shiner to show Marchie Mark when he gets back. Beautiful. Just when we all thought shit couldn't get any weirder, Marchlin wasn't too pleased about the QIA's black eyes. So he, get this, exiled the entire station. I mean, I would be worried if he weren't the last food producers the Federation has, I swear. Marchlin's gone off the deep end and I for one look forward to seeing downtown burn. Good riddance. Okay, seems like they had a bit of trouble and we also just dropped a lamp. That is hilarious. We can always come back for that. But we do need to get to downtown, so that is definitely something we need to find. 
Now we're back at the chemistry station. It does actually look like we can craft some bandages. So, you know what? I think I'm going to make as many of them as possible. Just so we have a way of recovering health. Now, one thing we're definitely going to have to look at and potentially crafting as well is this rustic backpack. We do need to unlock armor, which we definitely could do once we've leveled up again. But having some more inventory space is going to be absolutely huge. Now, it does look like we have actually fully cleared out this downstairs area now. I have managed to take most of the resources back to the chemistry station. But one thing we have never done is actually gone up these stairs right here. So... Fingers crossed it is clear, but I have a feeling it might not be. Now, I don't know how combat is going to be affected with losing all the strength in our arm, but looks like there's an exit right in front of us, but it also looks like there's people very much to our left. Now, we do actually have a stealth boy that we found at the very start of the last video. I feel like it may be time to finally use it. Here goes nothing. Now, I don't know how long they're actually going to last in this mode, but I guess we will find out. Okay, one is dead. The other one still doesn't know where we are. Can he see me? How can he see me? I'm invisible. Whoa. Apart from my sword, that probably gave it away. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, let's try this again. Stealth boy. Now, I feel pretty confident that if we can kill one, we should be all right. But we don't have an arm, remember? So, try and be as quiet as possible. Okay, that was perfect. Oh, that couldn't have gone any better. Only took two times, but I'll take it. So in terms of what this guy has, he actually has some antiseptic, which I feel like it's going to be massive. An ammo bag. Nice. And also a sacrificial serrated blade. I wonder if that's better than the sword. If we go to weapons then... 24 damage and it's fast. I feel like potentially this could be a lot better, you know. It's going to do a lot more damage in a short space of time. We also have $5 here. Still interested to see what we can actually use the money for. Doesn't seem to be any traders around at the moment, but maybe we can find some out in the wasteland. But before we head out, we have obviously leveled up as well. So now we have to decide on what we're going to choose. Now I'm very tempted to go strength training for... I wasn't planning on going on a melee build, but we've been using so much melee and it also gives us more chance to carry more items as well. Or we potentially could do big leads that, of course, gives us 20% more damage to melee weapons. Also, maybe thinking about going for sneak. We can definitely use being more stealthy. I think that could definitely keep us alive longer. But I think we should potentially get armor so we can make that backpack, so we can make some more things. I feel like crafting is the way we're going to be able to survive in this mod. Even though we've not done much of it yet, but it's definitely in the long term. Once we've found some more resources, I think it's going to be absolutely huge. I think there's no better time than any. Let's finally head outside and see what awaits us on the other side of that door. Okay, I'm going to crouch out of here. Whereabouts are we is the question. Looks like good neighbor, I think. There's already some people here. Not ideal. We do have this warehouse here. Now, if we're looking for some place to find resources, a warehouse might not be a bad shout. There we go. Yes. Now, it does look like... Unfortunately, there are some raiders in here. What the? And they are now searching for me. I think one may have seen me. Fortunately, I did use that last stealth boy, so we are probably just going to have to... Okay, one is down. Gotta be very sneaky here. 
Okay, she seems to be looking the other way right now. Okay. How blind is this person? Oh my god. I just got absolutely destroyed. Well, let's try that again. Now, I don't know if this knife is better than the sword or not. I'm quite undecided right now. Try it again with the knife, though. One down. Oh, God. It doesn't block very well. Oh, my God. This chick is absolutely destroying me with that stick. Now, this time, I'm going to try and be extremely sneaky. We somehow can just get behind this girl. Oh, God. Okay. Why did she have to turn around? Hello. Okay. One down. Oh, my God. He just did a 360 no-scope lead pipe attack. Oh, my God. I don't know if this knife is it, guys. I might have to change back to the sword. This thing cannot block anything, which, I mean, I'm not surprised, right? It is a little knife. Right. Let's try it with the sword. I feel a bit more confident in being able to block their attacks. We slowly creep over to her. Oh, God. Okay. The sword may be working a bit better. Okay, this guy's nearly dead. He's nearly dead. Okay, one is down. And here she comes. She does only have one arm too now, though. Come back. Okay, we finally did it. The Chinese sword is OP. They didn't actually have anything useful on them, unfortunately, but... I have a feeling this place might have a quite a few supplies as it's a warehouse. I'm still looking for lead to finally be able to craft bullets. Oh my god! We just got absolutely ran up on. Where did that person come from? I'm not gonna lie, that was an actual jump scare. Okay, well, there's a third member to look out for. Now maybe we can sneak up behind her. Oh no, maybe not. We're going loud. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bye. Okay. We have no health left whatsoever. Time to use a bandage. Well, this guy did have a blood pack on him, so that is definitely going to be useful when it comes to health. All I really want to do is find some lead somewhere so we can finally make some ammo, please. Now, we definitely know there's some more here as we got absolutely destroyed the last time. See them actually at the top of the stairs. Definitely two. I don't know how many more. One of them has a hand axe, so we've got to be careful of that. And our health isn't looking very good right now. Now, in terms of actual aid, we did find a blood pack. You know what? I'm just going to take it. Every little bit of health right now is going to be huge. So, like, if we can take one out, we should be fine, but it's just being able to take one out undetected. I really regret not taking Sneak in our last upgrade. We are also mildly dehydrated. Probably the least of our worries right now. I think one may have gone upstairs. Okay, no one in this room right here. Surprise! Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God. Well, yeah. Sneaking clearly isn't working for me right now. Okay, let's try this again, then. We know there's multiple in that left-hand side room, but... I really want to know how to fix my arm, because I feel like that is a massive problem right now and not helping me with the combat. If any of you have played this mod, by the way, please get down in the comments below and give me all the tips and tricks, because they're so needed. Okay, that woman seems to be blind. Oh, 
one down. And we managed to stay quiet. Nice. And another one down. But where did he come from? He just slit me open. God. Okay. We nearly got there. But not quite. So now we know there are definitely three. Got it. Okay, we are back in our little corner. This mod is so brutal. I feel like I'm playing a Souls game right now. Now, hopefully things can kind of go similar to how they did before. I'm waiting for the one in the blue jumpsuit to potentially go sit down again. I feel like she's heading over there this time. I'm wondering if we can maybe take out this guy. I don't even know if there's any more upstairs or not. Oh god, there's a lot more. I'm going to run. I need to run. This is not good. This is really bad. Oh god, this is terrifying. At least we know the answer to how many are in this building. A lot. We really need a gun. Now, I've got to really ask myself. Is it even possible for me to loot this building with all these raiders in it? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to leave for the time being. But at least we've cleared some of them out. Now, back on the hunt, I guess, for some more resources that we desperately need another way into a warehouse here as well oh no oh no that guy has a gun oh god they are literally everywhere outside here how am i supposed to survive with just this sword he absolutely destroyed me okay noted Okay, so we now know going left seems pretty much impossible. I feel like we're not going to be able to get out of this area without just fully sneaking our way out or even finding guns and ammo from somewhere or lead so we can actually find our very own bullets. Now, we know the inside is safe. We have pretty much cleared that out, but out here, yeah, it's brutal. Now, in terms of a way out of this place, I don't know if it's going to be left or right. It does look like there is someone over to our left. I really thought we managed to make our way out, but it looks like potentially we're going to have to go inside again and cower in our little tunnel. I feel like we still don't have the right equipment just to be able to survive out there, but we're not too far off. As soon as we can find some ammunition from somewhere, we're laughing. Now, there was actually this door here that we haven't unlocked, and it did look like it had a massive chest in it. So let's see what's in here. An XL, which is a huge drug that gives us basically everything. We're going to have to save that for a very important time. But let's take all of this back to the chem station and see if we can actually craft something. Now, after a few trips back and forth, dumping all of the things we're finding back into this little station here, we still can't make much. But one thing we definitely can make is a Molotov cocktail. So these things are going to be huge for us. Now, as well as trying to find lead to try and craft some ammo, I'm also trying my very best to try and find a way to make this rustic backpack. We need some more adhesive, so we need some more tape, and then we need to find leather from somewhere as well. Now, we are really thirsty as well, so let's make some boiled water. Now, we actually have three dirty water and some wood. Now, in our hunt for more resources, we have come back to Park Street Station, the place where we absolutely decimated a whole bunch of survivors and hope we can find some more stuff we can use. Now, we did actually already go up this flight of stairs. But if I remember correctly, once again, many survivors up there who are just ready to just tear us from limb from limb. So hopefully this time, we can get away with it. Hey, sir. Goodbye. Um. Yeah, you guys saw nothing. Gonna uh, drag his body... Uh, Stand back. I have a corpse and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, another one down. Now, I'm a real big fan of these bladed tire irons, not going to lie. Every time they've been used against me, they've absolutely destroyed me. So I'm going to try this out and see how it is. Now, the question is, how blind is this ghoul? Because you can't see me right now, somehow. A limping man with one arm and an axe. I potentially sneak attack him. Oh, no. Broke his arm. Nice. And I broke his head. Anything useful? I don't know right now. There's definitely one more, though. Hey. This axe is insane. There we go. Nice. Now, maybe a few things we actually need. Wonder glue. We definitely need that. Military grade duct tape as well. That is so good. We need so much adhesive. A postman hat. That actually gives us plus one endurance. Might take that. A lot of one dollar bills. Some more duct tape as well. Another bourbon bottle. We can use that potentially for Molotov cocktails. And a safe, an expert lock safe. Definitely not going to be able to lock pick that anytime soon. We can only do novice locks right now, but we'll have to remember that's here. I'm assuming something amazing is down there. Now, there is a way up and out of the station here as well. So we've actually found like three exits so far, which is great. Another thing, as you can tell, our character is absolutely exhausted. So when we do go back to the base, it is probably wise to finally get some sleep. But I feel like as we're here, let's see what's out this door. Okay, Park Street Station. We're definitely out of Good Neighbor, which is great. Does that mean maybe not as many hostile enemies are out here? But maybe this is our best shot of kind of escaping this place. But I don't know how safe I still feel outside. Oh, there's guys with guns here. Uh, please be friendly. I have a feeling they're probably not going to be. Hello? Oh my god! What did I do? Right, well, I don't know what their problem was, but they were friendly for mere seconds. Is it because of the armor I'm wearing, potentially? What I'm going to do is put my gun away. And also, take off the gas mask. We are getting rads because of that, but I just want to test out a theory right now. Hello? I come in peace. Please don't just shoot me in the head again. I haven't done anything wrong. Hey. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god. Why do they hate me? What have I even done? There's also a dead person here. I'll take that. A deer hide outfit. Ooh, that could be useful. And some cash. Now we're getting so many rads. This is really bad, actually. And they're all chasing me down. Um. Yeah. Not the best plan in the world. Now everybody absolutely hates me up here. I know there's a lot of in-depth mechanics of kind of outfit wearing and things like that. So that is why I tried that. But it seemed to not really make a difference. But I'm definitely going to loot this body again. And then maybe we'll retreat back into the access tunnels. Because I hate being out here. I'll take the letter, the dollars, and the deer hide outfit. Now if we actually go to apparel then. This deer hide outfit is definitely going to be a lot more better than Federation Fatigues. Now, maybe because they were a part of a different faction, they didn't like that. I'm going to drop these for the time being. So now we're wearing just some casual deer hide clothes. I'm going to quick save. And I'm going to test this theory once again. Oh, we should also probably take off the gas mask. Hey, guys. 
Are we friendly? Please be friendly. Hey. Um, can we talk? Why do they hate me so much? I'm just a guy in deer leather. Right. Mission failed successfully there, I guess. Also, taking off the gas mask outside just clearly is suicide. So, yeah, we're definitely never doing that again. I don't really want to keep retreating inside all the time, but I feel like until we've got the proper gear, it is almost pointless coming up here. But let's see what we can find. Now, I'm going to go up this way. Find the Boy Sling Club. Do we go inside? Screw it. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Looks good so far. We have Mike Daly's journal. Well, found my sister's apartment, Bob. I found her body crushed under a staircase. Looks like she tried to hide under it when the bombs were falling. I just hope it was a quick death. I remember when we were teenagers growing up in the Midwest. Life seemed so much simpler back then. Picnics in the grass, wrestling the neighbor's kids, riding our dirt bikes around back when there was still oil to play with, punching out Fletchery during an army ball she snuck into. Idiot shouldn't have grabbed her ass. Good thing he was Sarge cool about it. Not that it matters now. Goodbye, little sister. Your strength and tenacity were some of your finest attributes. You'll be missed. That's kind of sad. Poor Mike find his dead sister. Okay, we can actually go in this elevator. Let's see what's up here. I'm assuming it's not going to be nice. Hello? So many dead people here. It looks like there's actually poison wine on the table. So these people probably watched as the bombs were falling and decided to unfortunately take their own lives. Super sad. We do actually have a terminal here. And now we're going to have to unlock it. Yes. Okay, amazing. We managed to get in then. So we have a club policy. But most importantly, it looks like we have a safe control here. Disengaged a lot. And hopefully we can find a safe and hopefully it has something really useful in it. Looks like I have found the safe. And it looks like all oh, that's in it. Again, is some money and some silver as well. Not a gun. Okay, well, that's this building anyway. At least there was no hostile people in it. But also not a lot of useful loot. But at least we know it's a safe building if we ever need to run into one. Now, we actually have found our other entrance that we managed to come across when we came out here the very first time. So at least we have a shortcut way back into the access tunnels. Now, we've gone back up to Hubris Comics. And if you watched the first video, yeah, we're definitely not going in there. But we do have a scavenger's lead on here. Let's see what that says. Check out Hubris Commons up Newbury Street. Store on the ground floor. Ought to be easy pickings. Well, as you can see by this survivor, it definitely isn't easy pickings. We may definitely go in there one day, but today is not the day. Oh, my God. Right. Someone has a working machine turret. Great. Apparently we're found, but... These people really need to leave us alone. They have guns as well. We need to get the hell out of here now. Oh my god! <gasps> How are we alive? You know what? I'll ask questions later. Hey, who's there? No one's here. I'm going inside. A chemical leak has been detected. Please oh my god. Evacuate the building immediately. Oh god. Well, yeah. Peekaboo indeed. That mask is awesome, by the way. Now, we may be screwed. We may be absolutely screwed being in here. We could technically let the ghouls fight these people. This place is absolutely insane. 
I have no idea what to do in this building right now. We're undetected, so that's detected. good. Please evacuate the building. Oh. Uh, hello. Should we leave this place potentially? Yeah, I don't feel like this may be the best place for us to be right now. There's a lot of drugs by the looks of it, and uh, yeah, we don't need any part of that. Now, people are unfortunately still searching for us, but we may be safe for the time being. I say with holding my breath. We are starving and of course super tired as well. I feel like wandering around outside might not be doing us any good right now. I think we should potentially head back. Let's go back inside our very safe for this point station. Get some rest, eat some food and then maybe reevaluate what we need to do. Now in terms of getting some sleep, we can actually sleep in this mattress right here. So I feel like let's just get seven hours sleep and see what that does for us. Okay, we, we are still a bit tired. You can't sleep more than five hours on a dirty mattress. Yeah, I'm not surprised, but at least we're not exhausted anymore. But we still are starving and thirsty. Now, I've just made it back to the cooking station. And I don't know why, but I've just realized we've never even been down this railway tube here. I kind of just, for some reason, thought it was a dead end, but... It doesn't look like it it says this way which i feel like maybe a bit of a trap we need, a key. we need a key for a subway line okay another door that we can't open great at least we know this actually leads somewhere there actually is a dead person on the floor that we just missed so mission explosives retrieval another bandage heavy metal right arm we actually have quite a lot of different armor pieces here that are going to be massive for us but in terms of weight we're just not going to be able to carry them right now so maybe we just drag this body back with us and then we can loot him when we can who knew dragging a body for a railway line would take so long clearly a very heavy boy but what i'm going to do just so we don't forget i'm going to leave him very nice and cozy on this mattress right here so we can come back and loot his armor when we can but we are back back in our little chemistry station we did actually find quite a lot of stuff i'm just gonna drop it all off now i have just seen here to obviously heal our crippled arm we're gonna need an arm brace so we need one more lever which is annoying but one thing we can finally make which is gonna make life so much easier is a rustic backpack. We finally found all the right ingredients. So let's cook. That is going to be huge. So if we go over into our inventory then. And put on this rustic backpack. As you can see we now have 67 carry weight. We look like a proper survivor. But I think this is where I'm going to end today's video. How much progress did we make? Not a lot. But also quite a lot at the same time. We still don't have a working gun with ammo. We definitely have found our way outside. We have three to four different exits now, taking us to different places. And we did actually manage to explore the wasteland a little bit. But if you did enjoy this one, smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all the content. I love to keep making these videos for you guys, so I appreciate all the support. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.